In 1901, deep beneath the turquoise waters of the Aegean Sea, sponge divers stumbled upon a Roman-era shipwreck near the island of Antikythera. Among the treasures they recovered, coins, statues, amphorae, lay a corroded, lumpy mass of bronze and wood. At first glance, it looked like little more than a barnacle-covered lump. But inside, a machine that would change how we see ancient history forever. The Antikythera shipwreck, dating to the first century BC, was a trading vessel carrying luxury goods from the Greek world. Among the hall, archaeologists found a fragmented, gear-filled device unlike anything ever seen before from antiquity. It would take decades for its true nature to be understood. In the early 20th century, researchers were baffled. Gears? From ancient Greece? That was impossible, until X-ray technology told a different story. Using advanced scanning, scientists revealed over 30 bronze gears, intricately placed to replicate lunar cycles, solar years, and planetary orbits. It could predict solar and lunar eclipses, display the phases of the moon, show the position of five known planets, track Olympic game cycles, account for the moon's irregular orbit with epicyclic gearing. This wasn't just a calendar, it was a mechanical computer, hand-powered, created more than 2,000 years ago. Here's the kicker. Nothing like the Antikythera mechanism would be built again for over 1,400 years. The level of precision and miniaturization seen in the device wasn't matched until medieval astronomical clocks, and even those lacked some of its features. Scientists were stunned. How could the Greeks have possessed this level of astronomical and engineering knowledge? Did this technology disappear? Was it destroyed or simply forgotten? Before we dive into the theories about who could have built this ancient wonder, take a moment to support this journey through time. If you're enjoying the story, give the video a like and let us know in the comments, where in the world are you watching from? We love seeing how history connects us all. Now, who could have possibly built something this sophisticated over 2,000 years ago?